I just have these four I kind of would like to point out. All right. So the food Hit dyes, with it. the food dyes that are known carcinogenics is red three, <laughs> caramel coloring, yellow six, and red 40. Well, caramel coloring, really? Yep. did not know that. Yep. I thought caramel coloring came from, uh, honestly, like this is true. I did think this. I thought it came from um, uh, like sugar, like, uh, like molasses. We're still not oh, good yeah. for you, but I would have rather it been that than that. this. Yeah. So, so, so the four that are known carcinogens. carcinogens. So this means they the, know that there is a that, that it causes cancer. Yep. Which so, how many more kids are getting cancer? One in two hundred or one in four hundred before the age of twenty three? Diagnosed with cancer before their twentieth birthday. What's allowed in the United States and not Europe? I'm gonna go through You mean they don't want to give their people cancer? In the United States but not Europe. That's allowed here but not in Europe. <laughs> I mean, so it, all the we ones know that I just it causes cancer. The inadequacy of much of the testing and the evidence for carcinogenesis, carcinogenicity, genotoxicity, and hypersensitivity, coupled with the fact that dyes do not improve the safety or nutritional quality of foods, indicates that all of the currently used dyes should be removed from the food supply and replaced, if at all, by safer colorings. If at all. That's their conclusion. 